What are you doing, dork? Making the deck a little nice, better, so I can walk out here. All right, guys, we just went for a walk. It's a beautiful spring day. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> it's got 10 inches of snow. Now it's all melting today. So uh, one project that's been on hold is uh, the snowmobile. This red snowmobile, Ruby Red, as one of this one of our friends here named her. She's treated us good all winter, but old blue, uh, the pull string broke out, the pull cord. It pulled out a couple months ago. And I've never done this. I've messed with some recoils before, like on outboard motors. And the springs are a pain in the butt to get recoiled, but I think I watched a YouTube video a few months ago. It looked like something I could handle. I didn't think you had to take the, the spring out. You said to like rewind it while it's together and then retie the string in there. Could be wrong, but I'm gonna try to work on this. So hang out with me for a little bit and let's see if we get this fixed. Guys, the lighting's probably not the best here because we're on the wrong side of the machine, but the string handle or the pull cord handle here goes through here, through here, and into right here. And your recoil stuff is in here. So I have to remove this coil. I think this is the ignition coil. Um, get this out of the way take off a few of these bolts around the perimeter I don't know if I have to take this off because there's it goes up under here so I'm hoping I don't have to take this whole shield off I might have to we'll take all these off first and see if it just pulls out so hang out with me Guys, the only reason I think this is going to be possible is because the string broke. Long. I think. How's that? Not a five minute process. I didn't think it'd be a five minute process. Did you? Oh yeah. Hi pretty lady. <laughs> <laughs> Should that be our thumbnail? She's she's rooting me on. She's my cheerleader. Are you warm from shoveling all that snow? Yeah. And then it gets breezy and gets cold. So Alright guys, I'm on the last bolt I think. Unless the top Unless this whole top plate has come off. We'll see. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Didn't have to take all that off. And it, ooh. Ooh. That's what I did. Did you guys even see that? This was on here. It all just came, slid right out. So there's that. But look what I found. How long that's been in there? A while. All right, cleaned out enough. So guys, here's, I don't know if this is just your, I don't know if this is considered the clutch or the clutch is on the other side. Not that. Here's your thing. Now I've seen people hook a, rat, uh, a strap around this and start it. 
Like if I got super desperate, I could have on the other side, I guess, hooked the string or a strap to it and pull started it that way. I want to fix this right. So I'm going to try my best and I can see right here, so the string comes in here, okay, and then wraps around this, inside this though, I think. I'm not sure how I'm gonna figure this out. Hopefully, hopefully there's nothing broken inside here. I don't think there is. So hopefully I can wind that up I'll get a string on it somehow get the old string here's the old piece of string yep, broke right at the knot so that's perfect so there's the old knot now when you're pulling it out so I gotta go clockwise to wrap it back up but I have to get it in here somehow first. Which, if you take this off, it would be easier. But I think if you take this off, you run the risk of that spring popping out. So I'm going to try my darndest to somehow get this in here. I don't think, I don't know if I will be able to or not. So guys, you can see this, right? String comes, string comes in from the left there, goes... Through here, tie a knot, and then I just have to coil it up, I think. Let me make sure before I go through all this, I have to turn it clockwise. So I don't know if I have to press. Like there's a ratcheting thing here that keeps it. I don't know if I have to. coming on our property huh? someone coming on our property riding, in the... riding in circles in the field turned on our road. huh they turned on our road. did they That you under there? Yeah. <laughs> Guard the property, dog. John's pretty scared. Don't jump in. Don't jump on him. Rip his. Say hi. I figured you'd be boiling. Ja I did it all yesterday. Oh. Got killed it. Look who it is, guys. He showed up perfect time. You know, I didn't even have to text him or nothing and bug him. Yeah. <laughs> so, finally fixing the snowmobile. I hope I'm doing this right. <laughs> Can I just spin just, that now? Just the recoil? Yeah. The string broke right at the knot. Oh. So I think I could just turn this clockwise down. down. I think I just turn this clockwise and it'll yeah. wrap the rope back up. Yeah. More do, up. Right? Yeah. I think that's it. Keep going and it will wind the Until spring it's tight. Up. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't know if the spring, like, does the spring, because it has this hat. I don't know. I've never yeah. done it before. You still got to. I still got to redo the coil yeah, or the gotta, spring. Yep. So you want to get it to where so it's tight. It won't be tight enough with just this. I'll probably have to coil it up a little bit before I put that knot yeah, on. Yeah, yep, that's how you do it. So, so I gotta turn that a bunch. You gotta turn it and then. Yeah. So I gotta start all over. Yep. <laughs> I knew it could be that easy, guys. So, so a good thing I showed up. 
Yeah. Well, I would have figured it out. Like I would have figured it out pretty quickly. It would be like, damn it. I thought this had like a, you know, it has this ratchet in here. So it doesn't go the wrong direction. Yeah. But that, like you said, doesn't have no spring on it. Yeah. So yeah, undo your knot, wind it up. Knot that I just burned. Yeah. In nice and tight. Yep. <laughs> Taking the machines out for one last ride. Yeah, I put some stable in the gas, so. Yeah. You're not smart out. like that. I'm not so smart. Yeah, the boiler, the new boiler is awesome, dude. It like makes everything go. I boiled almost two gallons yesterday and eight hours yeah. which before it took me like two days to do that like two gallons of syrup two gallons yeah. of syrup Jeez. like 80 gallons it's what gallon and a half plus two pints killing so, it this year yeah pretty cool you're gonna have to sell it at a farmer's market or something or something once we perfect it a little more and can get it without the sand and stuff in the bottom <laughs> Yeah, well, that just been, that just means it's good. That just means it's all natural. Yeah. Well, son of a gun, I knew it couldn't be that easy. All right, so I got this without having to take it apart. I don't have to take this out, right? No. Just wind it up. See, I got it all in there. Like it was all frayed, so I got it cleaned up, and I'll never get it back in there. Nope. This maybe this piece has the. Let it's got a hook in there. So it probably just must have come off. I think that looks okay or is that like broke? Oops. I, done I have no idea how that went back in. This went underneath it. It's always something. Fancy. <laughs> Fancy. Fancy pants. All right, you can go home now. <laughs> say the sap this year I don't know if I'm doing something different or if it's the pan a lot more sand in there oh, yeah. sugar sand in there I did it I canned most of it in half gallon jars because I figured then all the sand settles to the bottom and then I can just dump out the good stuff yeah. and leave the sand in the bottom but it's like that much at the bottom of most of the jars really yeah well they say sometimes it's different every year because of the just depending upon the year. It was like a dry summer, so maybe it has something to do with that. Huh. I mean, I don't filter it like everybody else does a million times. Yeah. Not everybody, but some people. All right. Oh, forgot to feed it through the line. in and try to mold it. See, see if it go. Yeah. See if it works. <laughs> no, you don't.
just been sitting here? Three months. <laughs> January. I've just been praying that that one doesn't break because I'm like, like when we went for that ride and it started popping and oh, oh yeah, I was like, son. Of get lucky this went like the last couple winters we could drive back here pretty much until march yeah or till you know like well even like last year come march we were able to drive down at least the hill like you could have stuff down there yeah park at the yeah park by at the end of our like road like it was just january and february we couldn't get back here with the car but at least in march there was the grass showing again mm-hmm <laughs> Yeah, the snow was gone early last year. Yeah, we got spoiled. Even downstate, though, it's been shitty. Well, there's before. been no snow downstate all winter. Like, you get it, but then it melts within a few days. Yeah. The weather's just been So, like, everybody shit. downstate, we're like, man, this winter sucks. And everyone downstate's like, it hasn't really actually been that bad because you've only had to shovel snow like three times. Right. And I'm like, well, up here, it's been freaking brutal. Not brutal, but I mean, it was pretty mild. Yeah. Like, we didn't have a ton of. We did get a lot of snow, but a yeah. lot of it would, you know, would get snow and it would melt. Yeah. Jenny said we got, what, 146 inches or something? Like, as of yesterday at 2 p.m., we had gotten 148 inches this year. Is that. I did think you... that's about average. That was yesterday as of, you know. O'clock, so there was probably a few more inches added onto that. <laughs> Buy a whole new string. The smart thing would be buy a whole new snowmobile. Hey, those are expensive. <laughs> You know, money. You can't afford any of that stuff. All right. Oh, my knees get old. All right, guys. Did you learn anything? <laughs> Not to buy old. Well, I'd have to go get a J-O-B if I had new fancy stuff, so. All right, moment of truth. Moment of truth. Oh, no. What's not grabbing? Oh, well, that little rocker has to grab that. Isn't that what grabs it? See, I knew I jinxed myself. Yeah. Every single bolt back is like a dumbass. See, I told you I only put like two bolts in and try to pull that. You didn't listen to me. Yeah. Never do. Moment of truth. That's 